Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. The role model mindset. Let me tell you something. Being a coach, consultant, or entrepreneur is all about showing others what is possible. You could be a coach and you are selling your training, your information, or your expertise. All that is there is for you to show other people how to be, do, and have a happier existence. So in this episode, we're going to be looking at how entrepreneurs actually solve big global problems and how they survive risky situations like what we just came out of in the COVID and create businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, this might not pertain to me. And, you know, I'm just looking to grow my business. How can I actually start playing uh, as a role model? Who would want to know or who would want to watch what I'm doing? But let me tell you something. People are watching. It might not be specific uh, people that are, um, you know, raising their hand to your content on social media. It could be kids. It could be teenagers. It could be people that work with you or for you. Everybody's watching your every move and life as it is, is a stage, especially for entrepreneurs like you and me. So you might as well make it interesting for those that are watching. But the main reason is I viscerally believe that we're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute. Now I'm going to dissect what I just said there. Um, you know, those three words, live, learn, contribute. Now for you to live your best life, you have to make sure that all facets of your life are uh, fiery, you know, your finances, your relationships, your spirituality, your mindset, your vocation, your health, um, maybe your wealth and everything else that comes in between that constitutes um, whatever a successful human being should possess. And by success here, I'm saying your definition of the word success. Okay. So that's the leaving aspect. And then the learning aspect, the learning aspect is we, le we learn from other people's mistakes and then we learn from other people's um, uh, experiences and our own experiences. But in life, we can't go through all experiences. So we learn from others that have gone through um, those experiences and you might actually be a yardstick or a reference point that somebody's looking at, um, you know, in order for them to be, do, and have a happier existence. And then the last bit is to contribute. Now, your contribution is what brings fulfillment in your entire being. You might be working, making millions of dollars, um, winning accolades and awards and everything else. That's just you. But what you do for others right, is what then gives us fulfillment and legacy, all right, everything that we get to do for ourselves um, is all forgotten, and nobody remembers the Jordans or the expensive watches that you bought, but people will remember what you did for them or for others, so that's why in every aspect of what you're doing, just make sure, are you learning something, are you, um, you know, contributing or are you actually leaving the best life forward? Now, the biggest problem, you know, as a entrepreneur or as a coach, consultant or a small business owner, marketing and growing your business, is just one aspect of running a successful life. You know, you go from hiring new people, managing new staff, managing your family, managing uh, or balancing your books and driving growth and a whole lot more. And it all feels like a constant balancing act where you're pulled in multiple different directions all at once. And 
at the end of the day, your real goal is just to help your clients. You just want to spend as much time as possible changing people's lives, solving people's problems, and doing or showing them、um, what is possible. Okay, and you don't want to waste countless hours. Each week, especially trying to navigate the complex world of either online marketing or social media, or trying to figure out the new business wave or new business tactics that are might that are out there. Let me tell you something. Fortunately, you don't have to. You see, I don't.、Um, but I still have a long list of clients who want to work with me, and it's not because I'm a genius. It's just because I've mastered the art of knowing、um, what it means to be great. And one of my biggest whys is so that I can become a role model. Okay, so my job is to specifically live the best kind of life, so that I can show to other people、um, what is possible, and that now makes it super, super easy for me to show up every single day because I'm just living the best life possible, and in the process, I know I'm fulfilling my why. Isn't that a, a really good deal that I got? You see, I didn't arrive at this by accident, right? Given and granted, I'm the founder of a digital agency called Live Long Digital, where we actually help businesses explode in growth、um, using digital marketing strategies. And I'm really passionate about helping coaches, consultants, and small business owners grow their business because I know what it's like to come from nothing. You see, I. <laughs> I was born in a small town in Zimbabwe, in Africa, and I don't know if you've ever heard of this country where, at some point, you needed a wheelbarrow to go and buy full, full, full of money to go and buy a loaf of bread. So that means growing up for me, life was pretty tough, and I didn't have a lot of money and, and even hope that I would amount to anything. And there was no one that I could look up to. That meant I had no role. Models. You see, if you don't have an anchor point or a reference point, you wouldn't know what is possible in your life or how much you can stretch yourself in order to be, do, and have a happier existence because you don't have something to measure yourself against. All right. So if everybody else who you're working with or you're hanging around is just mediocre, what that means is you just maybe do a little bit better. Just not to be worse off than they are. Okay. See, there's a story and the legend of、uh, Roger Bannister, who、um, you know did the unimaginable when he completed a mile in four minutes. This feat was unheard of ever since, you know, and、um, you know people thought he was gonna die or he was gonna explode or have a heart attack, but he did it. And as soon as he did it, something much more remarkable started happening. Kids、um, and other adults or other people that were in the athletics department and division also started to make sure that they could run a mile within the four minutes. It was because somebody had made sure that it was possible. Somebody had proved that what they thought was impossible was now possible. So, when with me, why I really am particularly passionate about this whole role model mindset is because my life changed when a bright-eyed Australian teacher came to work at my school. I was thirteen years old, and she came in and was our maths teacher. Now, don't get me wrong. When I was growing up, women were not expected to amount to be anything. All right, women were just expected to grow up,、um, you know,、uh, look pretty, get married, have children, and that was it. But here we are. I'm being exposed to a woman. First of all. Who has traveled miles and miles and miles to come to Africa from Australia to come and teach one of what I thought was the hardest subjects in entire school, mathematics. I don't know. Maybe you were a kid that was bright and good in mathematics. You knew your algebra from your Pythagoras theorem. And everything else that came along with that. For me, that vexed me. I didn't know any of that stuff. And when she came in, she taught me that there was a whole nother world outside of my town. You know, a whole world full of 
infinite possibilities for people who dream big and have the courage to follow their dreams. And the rest of my time in school, I just worked my butt off to learn as much as I could. And a few years later, I ended up in Australia where I then started my journey to start a business that is now profitable and enjoyable. You see, the thing is, to this teacher, she was just doing her part, her job, you know. But for me, this changed my whole perspective of what life was. Because all I've had, all I had ever known about what life and role of people and human beings and limitations was all put in a petri dish um, in this whole episode of this teacher who then became my yardstick and I vowed to myself that, you know what, I'm going to go out there and live a life that nobody who has ever known me or I have ever known in my family can ever imagine. And there we are now. You know, at the end of the day, you never know who is watching. You never know who you're inspiring. You know, it could be in the way you write, the way you talk, the way you present your videos or the way you just show up in the world. You need to have the role model mindset because being a great entrepreneur is all about showing others what is possible. You know, when we talk about coaches and consultants or entrepreneurs, we often think about people who followed a dream and maybe created a business. And these People are a group that is set apart because of their bias towards action. Whatever you do right now or whatever you embark on doing, somebody is watching. And don't you never forget that. If nobody is watching or if you don't think anybody is listening, try and just ask Google or ask Siri and say, Hey Google, who is Prosper Taravinga? On the website jamesshort.com.au, they say, Prosper Taravinga started Live Long Digital as a simple agency to help small businesses convert and sell all leads coming their way. He helped businesses grow and maximize awareness, traffic, and revenue from both organic and paid search. There you go. So if you think nobody's watching or nobody's listening, somebody is, you know? And Entrepreneurs and coaches like yourself, they love to get their hands dirty on their way to building a company just so they can fulfill their dreams. And because of that, many are actual role models and they're inspiring millions of other um, aspiring founders all across the world because they too want to be, do and have a happier existence like that. And I'm not just talking about a basic desire to imitate a business person like how people imitate um you know music artists or actors that they've just saw seen on a soap opera i'm talking about that basic desire because their wealth and success has inspired others to to live a happier existence you know and about being a role model it actually entails a degree of craziness which a lot of people respect you know for how you come through uh, certain problems or cross through certain hurdles and whatever methods and strategies that you use to build a successful and impactful business let me tell you coaches and consultants and small business owners they do things that others actually feel are impossible you know, when I embarked on, um, you know, this whole podcast crusade, I told my wife, hey, I'm going to be needing at least an hour a day so I can record a podcast. So if you guys can make yourself scarce, I mean, obviously, we've got a really big house. But, you know, if somebody's playing in the toy room or playing in the house, I haven't got padding on my wall. So whatever noise that we'll be making, it will echo into the podcast. And I was like, yeah, just make yourself scarce. And she's like, how many days a week? And I was like, oh. Um, that's like almost every day. And she's like, are you crazy? Why would you want to do a podcast every day? Who listens to that? And I was like, it doesn't matter if people are watching or listening to what I'm doing. I am. I'm the person that's there every single day. And I'm telling myself that it is possible for me to be of value and to show up every single day. 
So it doesn't necessarily matter that somebody's watching, but if people just know that I put out a podcast out there, they might be inspired for them to be, do, and have something of um, a similar note. You know, I was actually inspired by Seth Gordon, who puts out a blog. Even if his blog is about three lines or four lines, but he shows up every single day um, with a piece of content that is designed to help other people be, do, and have a happier existence. And I said, why can I not do the same? I can't write. I mean, obviously, English is not my first language, but I know that I can speak. So I can just sit in front of a mic and speak. Look for a topic, maybe maybe 30 minutes or so in advance, and just speak into the microphone, right? So that's why I say a lot of entrepreneurs do things that other people feel are impossible. Just this year alone, it was a competition between billionaires to uh, see who uh, would have the rocket that goes the longest and the furthest in space. Nobody knew that that was possible. And they did it all in a space of just proving people that there is no boundaries. And as of 2021, the sky is no longer the limit. If you've got $2 million a minute and can create your own space rocket. So the world's best entrepreneurs are not looked up just because of their salaries or what they've earned or the cars that they drive, but because they do three key things. First of all, a lot of them are solving global problems. Look at Elon Musk. He solved solar. He solved the electric car problem, which meant that we no longer have to mine fossil fuels. Um, you know, we've got people, even though it's controversial, Bill Gates, he's trying to solve the whole disease. Either he created it or he didn't, but he's solving global problems. And they survive a risky situation and they create all of this with just limited resources because they are dealing with problems that have never been solved before. So no one that they're going to be hiring will have experience in that particular thing. You know why? Because that thing hasn't been done before. So how can you say you've got experience in electric car engineering when we haven't had a car like that in the last 50 years? So at the end of the day, those are the limited resources that I'm talking about. And when they lead people to go through uncharted lands, that's where legends are created. Legends are not created within your own area po postcode. Legends are not created within your own um, vicinity. You know, just like I jumped on a plane with nothing but a backpack full of hopes and dreams. So whatever I have right now is profit. This microphone that I'm speaking on right now is a sign of success. You know why? Because when I got here, I didn't have it. You know, I'm not going to lie. It was tough. It's not easy coming to live in a city that's the size of a box and nobody knows your name. And I was so far away from my family and friends and I struggled to find regular work and pay my bills because obviously people wanted experience. And where would I have gathered that experience when I had just landed in the country? I was at my lowest point, but I never gave up. Right? I remember the advice and also the vision that I had of the Australian teacher that it gave me. And they, 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 as long as you're willing to work hard, there's always going to be hope. And I knew I would succeed no matter what, because anything that I was going to do or achieve was going to be a profit because I came here with nothing. You know, I just had to roll up my sleeves and take opportunity when it presented itself. And I went into a whole lot of things. I didn't, I didn't just start off being a digital marketer. You know, my big chance came as a modeling gig. So sometimes you might be presented with an opportunity, but if you don't have the wherewithal of you knowing what you want to do, you might not actually rep recognize that opportunity because my opportunity came as a modeling gig because one of my roommates, um, you know, was working for a clothing company and then they had um, somebody who didn't show up um, as a um, as a model on the day, and then he quickly rang me up, and he's like, Prosper, what are you up to? And I'm like, oh, I'm just chilling at home. He's like, come over to the city. Um, I've got something that you could do. So I ran to the city, and then the cameraman that I was taking photos with was like, whoa, bro, do you do this often? And I was like, no. Nah. And he's like, you're natural at this. And I was like, oh, really? And he's like, yeah, here's a number. You know, if you ever want to do um, 
they call it time for print where he can enhance his portfolio and i can also in exchange enhance my portfolio with those photos and guess what from then on i went on to be signed um you know by a modeling company and i went on to become one of the most recognized faces in the modeling scene in melbourne and before i knew it i was actually starting to brush shoulders with a list and celebrities and vip parties the kid who came from nothing with nothing and knew no one is now showed up to VIP parties. Some of which I was even refusing and declining to RSVP because I was too busy. And while I was within that um, industry, I noticed that many of the models that I met, um, they wanted a way to increase their online presence. And I think that was the start of influencer uh, marketing. You know, they wanted to create personal brands and it, it, it became something I held a, a particular interest in, you know? So what did I do? I threw myself in the new line of work by actually reading everything that I could on digital marketing that I could get my hands on. And I became working with small businesses and help them achieve massive growth using this newfound knowledge. So if you dream big, you, you never know who you are inspiring on your journey. Now I've got a lot of people that write to me and say, hey, I, um, I need to figure out how you started your business or what is it that you did, etc., etc." Because word started going around and before long, I was even hired by larger companies to expand their operations. And I've even helped a number of coaches and consultants grow their annual revenue from 200K to 2 million. If you want to find this case study, go on to my website, www.livelongdigital.com.au. And fast forward to today, we've partnered with more than 450 businesses. And can you imagine the amount of people that are watching all my moves and wanting to replicate what I have done and trying to find out if there's a blueprint um, that they can follow or ABC or one, two, three steps. Because when you set out to solve big problems, that means you expand your thinking, you expand your role, you expand who you are as a person. Because entrepreneurs dream big and the role models of business rarely start by trying to solve a small problem. All right? I went in to solve a big problem that models were having. They couldn't get jobs because they didn't have a proper branding. So that was a big problem of that time that I went in and, and tried to solve. And I created a product that solved and the unserved part of the marketing who did the most work, which is the, um, you know, the, 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 the models who were not being paid. And I was putting them all in groups and connecting them to photographers, connecting them to smaller businesses. So entrepreneurs go out there and they create a product that serves an unserved acute pain point in the formal economy. And where there's an existing informal, unlicensed, or unofficial alternatives, they bring legitimacy and formality to that industry. And let me tell you what, role models actually offer solutions for the mass market. And not just the elite or those that can afford it. They focus on game-changing innovations that fundamentally rethink a market or a sector. So if you really look at it and really trace my history up until Channel 9 picked up my story, I was very influential in the marketing scene because now I was advocating for models to get paid. And none of this is easy because people aspire to be these great business leaders only because they're tackling difficult, complex problems that many people maybe before them have tried to solve and either failed or achieved only with limited, limited success. So, you know, you can't do well if you don't feel well. And people are constantly watching. So good, healthy businesses can be built to produce the next maybe photo sharing app or social media. But entrepreneurs that get talked about again and again that are on people's lips and people talk about them at barbecue or are used as examples in the business world are the people that go on and take sizable global issues in arenas like maybe healthcare, education, society, energy, transportation, or in the financial services. So whatever you're doing right now, don't underestimate the amount of, you know, energy that you're exerting that other people are watching in our and maybe waiting on the other end, um, you know, to get an autograph from you. So do not ever give up.
You see, I work with coaches and consultants, like I said, and I teach some of them to create a business that's profitable and enjoyable in, in entrepreneurship. And some of my students and some of my, um, you know, uh, clients are actually earning a whole lot more money than other gurus out there. And it's not like I'm bragging or anything, but it's because the way that I have created this whole setup is so that they can follow through with the few steps that I have, um, you know, formulated for them. And most of my students often ask for my feedback, you know, on the direction of their business ideas. And I get asked questions like, will this even be possible? Am I making things too hard for myself by trying to build maybe this new idea that has never been done? And I ask them, why are you doing this? Almost exclusively, they tell me that they want to make the world a better place. And the reality is that when you're building a small business or coaching um uh, set up or your, you know, your, your, your consultancy there, your goal is to make other people's lives better. You know, or your goal is to make sure that you're creating for and relating to the audience that you're creating for. You know, the reality is that when you're building a business or any sort of startup, you know, it's extremely hard and it takes a long time. And if you're going to work hard for a large proportion of your life, you might as well build something meaningful. So when I started this show, I really mentioned the whole word, word contribution, right? Who are you doing this for? We should always, in the words of Seth Gordon, we should always be doing work that matters for people who care. And if you succeed, you will be a beacon for others to follow, inspiring the next generation of founders out there. All right? Because at the end of the day, what we are actually doing and what we are actually creating is a, a blueprint or something that other people would also look at and say, hey, he did it. Hey, she did it. And my biggest wish and hope in life is that I have each and every day that I'm waking up that I get somebody coming to me and say, hey, because of you, I did not um, give up, you know, because I was mentioning all my success and how I even ended up on TV and everything else. But all of these pales to the comparison, um, you know, to the success that I've actually achieved for my clients. So not only have I managed to make the success for myself, I've even made it possible for other people to be doing, have a happier existence. People that I never knew. People that would have not be in the position they were had our paths not crossed. So now it's your turn. All right. I want you to discover how to grow your business from wherever you are right now to at least two million dollars in about two years. Because I can save you a lot of time right now. You know, the one thing that you got to do is really sort out your life in so much that you become a role model and once you start living in that space the money the publicity the people the accolades all of that will follow you know why because if you're a role model to people people will want to learn from you and people will want to be do and have a happier existence based on your formula so if you're listening up until now i can just simply tell you that being a role model is your best marketing strategy because the best entrepreneurs then aren't just the ones that we aspire to be because of their success but we also uh want to be like them just because of the way they be give back to their communities and to the world now wouldn't it be nice that you no longer have to speak your praises but you have people out there that are um you know speaking on your behalf and that actually becomes cheap marketing for you okay so like i said you want to be using uh and and following through with a role model mindset look around you all the people that you have either seen as you were growing up and all the other people that you would have envied um you know when you were already old enough what is it that you liked about them that you can incorporate into your character because when we talk about entrepreneurs we often think about people who follow their dream to create a business but there's also people like uh martin luther king uh people like mother Teresa that just went out and created something that was selfless what is it that you can give today that resonates with your audience in order for them to be do and have 
a happier existence. Let me tell you something. Being an entrepreneur is not about the money, the watches, the Rolexes or anything. It will be nice to have it, but it's about showing others what is possible. What are you going to show us today? Bye for now. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the Live Long Digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.